People wonder what is the secret to successful relationships? Is it intimacy? Is it shared interests, shared values? What do you need in order to have the perfect relationship? After the show reel, I'll tell you all the keys you need to know. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's get down to brass tacks. So think about it this way. When you first start getting into a relationship, how do you interact with that person? Do you love yourself enough to say who you are, to act in the way that you usually act, and to actually show your full self? I'm not saying that you have to disclose every single thing and there should never be any secrets. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is, Think about this. So often when people start dating or getting into a relationship, they don't act fully like themselves. They're really concerned about what the other person will think or feel or respond or say. But what this does is it sets us up for then one month, two months, five months, three years down the road, actually not authentically being ourselves. How other people react to you is their problem, not yours. Let me give you an example. So I was supposed to go to a concert with a guy and he texted and said, hey, are we still on for mid-July? Because if not, you know, and this is like over a month away, right? And so I said, sure, but just to let you know, I'm not really drinking. So if you're look, if this is a party kind of concert and you want to like have someone around that's like drinking and all that kind of stuff, um, you might as well find somebody else. Cause I didn't know. I didn't know how he interacted at concerts. I was just clearly communicating my wants, my needs and where my boundaries were. His reaction to me was, I only drink every once in a while. And if you think I have to drink to have a good time, then you obviously don't know me very well. And then about five minutes later, I got another text saying, you know what, let's not even go to the concert. And he got very upset and very triggered and kept sending me a series of messages and basically said, next time I'm on your mind, don't ever, don't ever talk to me again. Now I could take severe offense to this and I could start being like, that's not what I meant. And I could get angry and I could get upset. But instead I'm standing firm in myself saying, I know and love myself enough to say, all I did was communicate what I want and what I need. How he responded to that was his own sensitivity, either around what he thought I thought about him, what he thought I thought about his drinking, what he thinks about his own drinking. Maybe it triggered something somebody else had said about him and his drinking in the past. I don't know, right? But do you see how what I said to him wasn't about him at all. It was about me, what I needed. And he took it wrong. And thank God, because that's gonna save me a lot of time and effort down the road, right? So the secret to a really successful relationship is to actually communicate clearly right away. Don't hide yourself. Don't hide what you want, don't hide what you need. Because if you love yourself enough and the other person loves themselves enough, and as you build a relationship together, if you both love the relationship enough, You'll find ways to negotiate. You'll find ways to make it work. You'll find a balance, even if that balance is to agree to disagree. And when you're clearly communicating, you can communicate about anything, about sex, intimacy, finances. Not to say there's not gonna be challenges, but if you both love yourself and the relationship enough, you'll make it. So that's the key successful relationships, honest, open communication that comes from a good place and from your heart. Watch more videos if you're interested in finding how to have even more powerful connected relationships. Subscribe, like, and I will see you next time.